So a singularity occurs uh, typically when two or more axes are aligned. The, the mathematical solver uh, can't figure out what the values of those axes should be because there, there are infinite of them. Um, so to deal th with that, we can actually use FK uh, animation to sort of pass through singularity. So just to demonstrate visually what a singularity is, um, right here, the robot is actually in a singularity, and you can see if I grab this controller and move it, that instantly axis 4 and 6 are flipping around. So that's not good because that will never work on the real robot, and this is a problem that you know roboticists deal with a lot, and there aren't great solutions for, for kind of um, dealing with and avoiding singularities. So let's say that I want to animate this tool, um, and I want it to go from say this position all the way over here, but you can see it's passing through a singularity as we go. So this would never be able to actually work on a real robot. So how can we animate this in a way that we can send to a real robot? So we're gonna do that through FK keyframing. First I'm gonna use IK controls just to set up my positions. So in IK mode here, I'm just gonna get a position I like. Now I can go over to FK controls, that'll switch to forward kinematics. I'm gonna set an FK keyframe and that's gonna keyframe each one of these uh, joint positions here. If I hit get pose, that'll show me the actual pose of the robot. Um, I'm going to come to frame, let's say 120 here. I'm gonna go back to IK controls to get my next position here. And you can see that we're gonna have a flip right there so that's actually flipping um, axis four and six. So to fix that flip, we wanna undo that flip. We're gonna hit this IK configuration button here. Now I'm going back to FK controls. And I'm gonna set that keyframe here. So now if we go back to frame one and sort of scrub through our animation, we can see that we've avoided that singularity by using forward kinematic keyframing.